아 그럼 이제 이게 녹화 되는구나 박사님 say hi hi <웃음> 그러면 요거를 그래서 오늘 필드트리 어떻게 계획하고 계신지 왜 성수로 나오기로 하신 건가요? 성수는 미래 서울의 장소다 공원이 있고 또 엔터테인먼트가 있고 주상복합이 있고 중공업 지역이 새로운 혁신 장소로 변환되는 그런 여러 사례도 있고 무엇보다도 많은 사람들이 새롭게 찾는 아주 핫 플레이스 그래서 그 외국에서 온 사람들이 모든 사례들을 한 번에 볼수 있는 좋은 장소라고 생각해서 성수를 추천했고 한두번 정도 미리 왔어요 제가 성수 성수를 잘 한다고 왔는데 또 안내한다고 와서 한번 보니까 또 다르더라고요 예전에 이 성수나 구로동이나 영등포가 도심 외곽이었어 그래서 거기에 이제 산업단지를 지었죠 그런데 음. 이전에 내 들어오니까 산업구조가 바뀌어서 나 외곽으로 나가니까 그래서 여기가 이제 서서히 어, 새로운 신장도로 아. It's incredible. In Argentina, we have a lot of problems with uh, local communities who don't want uh, taller buildings constructed. Okay, yeah. So we have a very big uh, housing deficit. It would be lovely if everybody could live in a nice little house, but uh, it's not yeah, reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't make it, sorry. Okay. Introduce yourself briefly. Okay, my name is Preston from Rwanda, Kigali, Rwanda. Ah, Kigali. And what do you work for in Rwanda? Yeah, I'm working for WASAC. Group is like an organization for water distribution in Rwanda. Water distribution? Oh. Yeah. What do you major? My major is uh, in uh, urban planning. Urban planning. So since when do you work for the government? Oh, uh, since 2017. 2017? Yeah, yeah. It's been about six or seven yeah. years, right? So do you enjoy your work? Yeah, enjoy my work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really enjoy my work. You and are, I your boss can see this video. <laughs> are you sure? I want to upload it. Yeah, shout out to my boss. Yeah, I really, really like him. He's a good person. Yeah. Vision 2050. Oh, 2050 yeah. vision. We'll be in from underdeveloping country mm -hmm. in developed country. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I look That's forward it. to see. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, My mentor is Dr. Hong. Dr. Hong? Yeah, he's a wonderful mentor. So calm, so nice, <laughs> really encouraging, and he's always supporting me oh. anytime I go to him. You know SM Entertainment? They're, they're also located here. Two buildings are residential, and the other one, that one's office. Some actors, actresses, and a lot of like um, YouTubers live here. Oh, she's a YouTuber. <laughs> What do you, what do you do? <laughs> Let's see. And this area um, is called the Red Brick Subsidy Program Area. In the past, Red Brick um, was a very common building material in Seoul. So many factories and warehouses were built with um, using Red Brick in the 1970s and 80s. And the city and the local municipal governments have come to acknowledge that um, that these uh, red brick buildings also do um, like show a piece of like history of the vernacular ar architecture of the area. So they started a pilot subsidy program in 2018. This empty building you see here, it used to house a sporting goods outlet store, but it was recently sold to the CEO of Mushinsa. 
Mushinsa is like the largest um, fashion uh, digital platform and it's one of the unicorn companies in Korea. So the CEO of the company bought this uh, building. He presents a very like fun and interesting ways of utilizing this building. They use the building as like a huge billboard for brand um, campaigns or advertisements, pop-up exhibitions. So they recently had a Cartier exhibition. I think they're trying to figure out what they're gonna use the land for. So in the meantime, they are utilizing the building to make it as like a landmark of the area. So it's very, it's been very interesting. Um, the red brick building over there, it's um, the uh, head office for Blue Bottle, which is the, the famous coffee brand from San Francisco. So it's kind of symbolic that they chose Songsudong as their first like location. Okay, so this, that street that we're gonna enter now is called Yeonmujangkil. And this is like the major like Songsudong's like commercial corridor. So when people say that they're going to Songsudong, they're coming here probably. So um, you're gonna see a lot of like small shops, restaurants, cafes, bars. And another recent trend that has become very popular across um, Songsudong is the temporary stores, pop-up stores. Some of the stores are now converting their space like solely dedicated to like hosting pop-up shops or pop-up events. It's very um, popular these days. So you're gonna see a, a several of those stores. So we're gonna enter now. So this is a temporary flagship for Dior. And it was actually a very big issue when they came here. Uh, instead of like the more um, high-end luxurious Cheongdam area because it, it was kind of symbolic that they chose here instead of the, tr the traditional um, luxury area. This is another flagship store for a very fast emerging beauty brand called Tambourines. Their brand identity is all about like new experience and experiment, which is also reflected in their architecture design. And here is like a shoe factory. They renovated a part of their factory to make it into a showroom to display their products. So you see a lot of these like renovation and construction work. It's like another co-working office targeting towards like IT and tech startups. So like leather craft and shoemaking is one of like the most famous like traditional industries in Songsudong. So you're gonna you see a lot of like shoe factories that are still working here. This warehouse, it was like one of the first um, cultural spaces that located in Songsudong area. And it used to be a warehouse and they now have like special cultural events and entertainment and they have a cafe and restaurant. They're like one of the first people to come to Songsudong to make it like this hot. This used to be a factory and now they're using as like a multi-purpose space where usually they have like cafe and store and sometimes they hold like pop-up campaigns. Um, recently they had Burberry pop-up and they like cover the entire building with like fa purple fabric. And because Songsudong was urbanized as industrial area initially, the size of the lots are a lot bigger than different parts of Seoul. And that's why there are um, so many factories and warehouses. And uh, when they lose their function, they can utilize it for different purposes because, they're, because of their like big size. So you have like, you can make like multi-purpose um, spaces. Because of the zoning code as the semi-industrial zone, um, there are still warehouses like this um, that are actually functioning. And I believe like this juxtaposition of like different uses and different like physical buildings and contribute to the unique landscape of the Songsudong uh, neighborhood. This place is called S Factory. It's a complete like 
private initiative. Well, this company rented the whole site with several like warehouse and factory buildings. They um, turned it into like a cultural hub where they can support like unique independent designer artists startup. And they also hosted some of like the major events in Seoul like um, Seoul Fashion Week and the Art Week. Those are like one of the, the major um, events going on in Seoul. Because the, the space is so large, they can like host very um, different um, kinds of events and they have like the flexibility to host such events. Um, on the map, you can see the area where it says IT and Logistics Industry Promotion District. If you house a certain proportion of like IT, tech, logistics, then you get like extra FAR so you can build more and you can get different kinds of like um, financial support if you own like a tech um, startup so you can um, start your own business more easily so you get like different um, supports as well as like tax benefits so here we end the tour for today thank you for joining <laughs>